Now, let's get to some good news again. We do need some good news every now and then, and we got a dose of it today. We've talked before about those astronauts stranded on the International Space Station while well, they've finally made it back to our planet. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore only planned to be in space for a week, but technical failures saw the pair stranded, a bit like David Bowie's Major Tom floating in their tin can for 286 days. They were eventually rescued this week by one of Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets, and they returned today in a Dragon capsule. And that view is from the WB-57, which is one of NASA's high-altitude planes. There you are getting a great view of Crew-9 inside Dragon Freedom as it returns back to Earth. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, Crew-9 back on Earth. Just spectacular stuff and a great relief, of course. Let's go to astro astrophysicist Brad Tucker in Canberra, who we've caught up with before on this issue. Thanks for joining us again, Brad. Uh, look, there's been all sorts of argy-bargy about competing types of rockets and what should have been done and when, uh, but obviously safety was always paramount, and while it's taken a while, the fact that they're back here safe, uh, safely uh, sort of vindicates the action that was taken, I suppose. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking it feels like yesterday we were talking about when they were up there. It doesn't feel like yesterday for them. But And as you said, it was all about how do you get home them safe and reliable. Uh, and as we saw that, that splashdown was perfect. Dolphins even actually even greeted the capsule later. It was a really, like, picturesque moment. Um, and they, so far, at all intents and purposes, they're healthy. Um, they have the normal side effects of space travel. But as you said, kind of relieved and proved the point. And in fact, actually proves the whole point of this whole program. When NASA defunded the shuttle program, it wasn't popular, but this was actually a George Bush decision. And he essentially said, let's not run this. Let's open it up to the commercial sector. Let's have multiple options so that if something does go wrong, we can reconfigure and get them home safely. That wasn't an option with the space shuttle. And as we saw this morning, is now an option in today's uh, world with SpaceX and other companies. Yeah, just brilliant. You mentioned the dolphins. I don't know whether we got pictures of that, but while the capsule was floating there, they were waiting to load it onto the ship. There are dolphins splashing around, which which kind of reminded me of the <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I wonder whether they are saying farewell and thanks for the fish, but it was, was beautiful. I just want to go back to last year, though, and uh, when we caught up and talked at, at the beginning of this saga, when they'd been stranded for just a couple of weeks, we heard, uh, we had a, you know, the, the just a, another incredible feat of technology. We do a press conference from the space station, and here's what the astronauts had to say then. We are having a great time here on ISS. You know, Butch and I have been up here before, and it feels uh, like coming back home. It feels good to float around. It feels good to be in space and work up here with the International Space Station team. So, yeah, it's great to be up here. So I, I'm not complaining. Butch isn't complaining that we're here for a couple weeks, um, extra weeks. <laughs> a couple of extra weeks. But my rationing from the time of that interview, it was another 36 weeks. Tell us, uh, Brad, what they would have done with that time. I think you told us last time that they would have been loaded up with extra work and perhaps experiments to conduct while they were there. Yeah, very much so. So, you know, kind of during those initial couple months where they're still trying to fix the Boeing capsule, uh, they did extra work on the capsule. They did extra experiments on board. You know, there was two extra pairs of hands, so they chipped in. And, and as we just heard from SUNY, uh, they had been there before, so they kind of knew what they were doing. But then once NASA made the decision to do the reshuffle and have the Starliner come down empty, send the Crew-9 up with only two people, and have Butch and Sonny join the Crew-9 mission as those other two astronauts, they immediately then started to have to do the six-month mission of Crew-9. And that had lots of planned experiments and research, so they had to learn what to do. You know, the astronauts usually prepare for those for months ahead of their space flight. They had weeks to do it on board. So they were definitely kept busy for that kind of six months when most of their work was normal and routine, but then they had that in between. But there was also kind of just this waiting game, as we heard back in that original clip of, you know, when will they come home? They said, you know, we're up here a couple of extra weeks, as you said, and it turned out to be 36 weeks. Um, you know, I, I don't know what's longer that or the dragging out of the election at this point, it feels like. It's, it's just kind of when were they come home, but they did. They got home safely. 
uh, and they did a lot of important research along the way. I don't know their politics, but they might be. They might come back, find out Trump's president again, and want to go back. 